it was towards the end of 2007 that I came to YouTube and I chose the name Angel Snuffin' Up 7. I had no intent to make videos. Just listen to the uh, various historians and scholars and Nation of Islam videos and so forth. I had no intent to make videos of my own. But then one day I decided to try it because even though I was listening to these pro-black, black power type uh, dissertations, as you would say, uh, getting the knowledge, uh, listening to the scholarship, I was not the same person I was when I was a child. And because of my personal experience, I began to re-examine all these teachings and this scholarship that I had learned for the majority of my life. My viewpoints and the way I looked at things was different. So I wondered if there was others who thought similar or the same as myself. So I began to make videos. Angel Snuffin' Up 7. <clears throat> and I found other people. Who were similar. Or the same as myself. I became a content creator. And during this period of time. We used to just subscribe to one another, the, the black YouTube channels, the soul brother and sister YouTube channels, in support of each other, whether you liked or disagreed with the content, many times we never even listened to some of these uh, content creators. We just, they was black, subscribe. They black, subscribe. That's how we used to do. I don't have to lie because some of the evidence is still out there. When it comes to Angel Stumping Up 7, because I do support black unity, because I do support our liberation. I support us. So no matter who you are, I'm very sure in your content there's something I can agree on so I share that content with others and I mirror that content. Now you would think that this would be a good thing but it's not. There are those. Now, in the beginning, when people like you, thank you, Angel Snuffin' Up 7, for sharing my videos. Thank you, Angel Snuffin' Up 7, for mirroring my videos. Thank you. But when people, you say or do something they don't like, why you copy my videos? You didn't have my permission. And then they flag. And then they flag. This is what they do. But even so. Because. I'm real with mine. There's not too many people. Videos I have not shared. The information I have not shared. From Dr. Umar Johnson. I have shared his videos. Brother Polite. Young Pharaoh. Sarah Sudan Seti. Minister Farrakhan. The Nation of Islam. 
And the list goes on and on. You can find old videos of mine where I promote Sonetta TV. Now this is the thing about it. These people only tell you and complain about what they don't like when Angel Snuffin' Up 7 critique their ideology or their beliefs. They do not raise their voice and let you know that Angel Snuffin' Up 7 also supported them. I promote your material. I share your videos. They don't talk about that angel snuffing up seven. What do they do for angel snuffing up seven? Nothing. You don't hear them talking good about me. You don't hear them. You don't see them sharing my videos or promoting angel snuffing up seven. Don't. My name don't come out their mouth. But I've done it. Way back in the day, when I first heard of Sanetta, I thought he was a hardworking brother. He was out in the street doing his thing. I thought it was good that he was sharing the information, getting the information and the scholarship out to the people. I thought that was a good thing. And then as he got, his audience got larger, I looked at him as somebody who could unify the diversity of us as soul brothers and sisters on YouTube. But I began to see that he was biased and he was prejudiced. It's only certain talk, it's only certain knowledge and information, certain mindset that he wants to promote. He wasn't and still not diverse. So I began to challenge the so-called scholarship, the knowledge coming from Sinetta TV. And King Noble Black Supremacy, shout out to King Noble Black Supremacy. King Noble and myself, we challenge the knowledge from Sarnetta TV and other places. I called Sarnetta one time and I asked him, how can I get down? I want to be a part of Sarnetta TV. You know, can... And the first time I even talked to him, he sounded pompous and arrogant I reached out to many of those people from the house of consciousness most of them would ignore me which is wise the only one that would talk to me like a brother was Natra Tahuti shout out to Natra Tahuti and I've never, we never had a problem. And I've asked Natra Tahuti, you may not know me. He said, we know who you are, brother. See, Natra Tahuti, right off the bat, I was on YouTube before Sarnetta. I'm, I was on YouTube before Tariq Nasheed, Cynthia G, Sister Noble, Dr. Boyce Watkins, and a whole lot of these people, Taz Exclusives, Uncle Sug, myself, King Noble Black Supremacy, and a lot of us who was in the forefront, we was here already. And YouTube took down our channels. If YouTube did not mess with our growth on YouTube, we would just we would have just as many subscribers and whatever as Anybody else? You think people don't like Angel Snuff Number no. Seven? Angel Snuff Number no. Seven. No matter how many subscribers I have, no matter how many views I get, I always have ten subscribers, ten views, 
and nobody listens to Angel Snub Nub 7. Even though some of my old channels are still up, you can go look at the at the views. 300 views, up over a thousand. It don't make any difference. It's Angel Snub Nub 7. I always have 10 subscribers, 10 views. And that's cool with me. It doesn't bother me at all. And the only reason why I'm talking to you right now is because the people keep me here. Whether you like it or not, the people want to hear this alternative voice. It's not up to me. The people have decided that. But Sonetta has a problem with Angel Snub Number 7 because I critique the information that he presents and his people present. And I am so bold, I will take on all your scholars, all your teachers, all of them at the same time. This is how bad Angel Snub Nub 7 was before the live chat and live stream. I would go to these people's channel by myself in their comment section and I whoop them and all their supporters and next thing you know the only people that's in the chat in the comment section is me. That's how bad I am. It was a cracker boy. He reminded me of Alquan. I had time on my hands. And we went back and forth for hours. And I kept on his ass until I crushed him. He didn't have nothing else to say. Nowhere else to run. I'm confident in mine. There's a reason why I would say, and I'm confident when we say that we're the most powerful voice on social media. So Sonetta becomes a hater. And he's false flagging my channel. Why would a channel so big like him, why would you focus on me? Because of the truth that we're bringing. Sonetta, scholarship, and his people, all that is garbage. Fairy tales, pseudo history, bogus history, religious dogmatism, fantasy. It's garbage. He finds out that Sister Noah is connected to me. And instead of promoting her book, he's in the background. You, you, you don't need to be messing around with him. I only get 10 subscribers and 10 views. Why are you worried about Angel Snub Number 7? Because the words that come from Angel Snub Number 7 is the truth. And it cuts them to their soul. But instead of accepting reality, instead of accepting the truth, let's just hate the messenger. It doesn't make any difference if Angel Snub Number 7 is alive or dead. It does not negate the fact that what you are bringing to the people, basically you're self-serving, you're doing it for, for your pocketbook and not for their benefit because out of all this time their condition should be changing and it has not. Yours have. You drive a Lexus, right? <laughs> that says it all right there, y'all. <laughs> mm, well, <laughs> 